Hello everyone, my name is Winters and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We are continuing on exactly from where we left off. We currently have three orders in the garage, one, two and three, with a fourth being uh, a car that we're uh, completely rebuilding and reconditioning. Um, but for this episode, we're going to work on this bad boy. So let's take a ganders. Actually, do you know what? Before we do that, let's go to the phone and dismiss orders. Uh, oh, we have a story mission order. Ooh, that kind of changes things. Actually, it doesn't change a whole lot now that I think about it. All right, we'll do that probably in our next episode. Uh, right, for this one, we have to check out port brake performance, grinding and shaking from gearbox and gearbox control and repair. Hair. Okay, she needs to go on to the test path. So we'll move her over uh, and uh, we'll start running some tests, uh, checking out the uh, the brakes and the uh, suspension. So first up is the front brakes and we can see here the front right hand side is average enough. Front left hand side is really bad, very very poor. Uh, on the back uh, front left hand side is below average, uh, front r rear right hand side is really bad as well, like the front left. Uh, next up we have the suspension up front, uh, both left and right are pretty even and will be above average, uh, probably in, in the good category. And down the back is pretty much the same. So brake caliber, brake disc, brake disc ventilators, uh, brake pads. So yeah, pretty standard stuff there, what we would expect. So let's move this car to lifter A. And what do we, we'll lift her up first. That'll be the first thing we'll do. Pop the hood. And we can see here the ABS module needs repairing. So we'll take that off straight away. And we'll put a new one back on in this place, because we do have spares. Alright. Uh, let's mark off um, everything that needs to be done, so that we can see what axles we have to work on. Uh, this will not be discovered yet, but we have a fair idea of what we will have to do. Actually, let's do that now. Let's uh, pick up a clutch. Uh, we'll probably need a pressure plate, uh, a clutch plate, and a release bearing, and a flywheel. And uh, we do have to take off this wheel. So we'll start, we'll work on the front first. That's what we'll do. We'll work on the front first. Caliper. Do you know what? Hmm. Alright, let's put this stuff back on because we can recondition the old ones and the pads that came off can go back on but we can put a fully reconditioned caliper back on and the wheel this order I suspect won't take us very long uh, let's move to the other side now caliper is in bad condition Brake pads, bad condition. Brake disc ventilated, bad condition. I don't... Alright, let's go to the repair table. And, oh, the brake disc is not going to be included in that. So, that means we need some new brake discs. If I could spell properly, that would make a difference. Uh, brake disc, let's pick up like five... And we'll do the same for brake disc ventilators. Alright, we needed new pads. We needed a reconditioned caliper. And the wheel can go back on. Alright, now we're moving down the back. This job shouldn't take too long. I, I suspect we're going to be done with it pretty quickly. Uh, and if that is the case, we're going to work on our uh, project over the far side of the garage. At least that's the plan anyway. OK, 
Okay. Tire back on. Now we'll move over to the other side. Oh, look at this. Really bad condition. Right, pads need replacing. New caliber we can put back on. And the wheel goes back on then. Alright, now one thing I do want to see is... Where's the starter? Alright, we're going to get at the starter from underneath. So that means we're lifting up the car. Okay, uh, let's get the starter off first. Now the drive shaft. Now the gearbox. Then the release bearing. And then the pressure plate. And then the clutch. And then the flywheel. Each go back on like so. Now, can I recondition that gearbox? I can't. Okay, so we need a gearbox. Where are we? Here we are, gearbox. Uh, it was a gearbox V. Was it a V8? Or was it a V12? I think it was a V8. Where are you, little son bitch? I think that's the one there. We'll take a ganders now and see if I was right. Yay! Oh, I already had one. Well, how about that? I must remember that for uh, future reference. All right, now the drive shaft. And that should be the order done. So we can drop the car down now. Lower the hood and mark off everything that is done. And we'll check to see if there's anything left. So all done there, all done there, and all done there. Excellent. So we spent five grand on parts and we're getting 11 and a half back in return. Nice profit margin. How are we doing on time? Eight minutes. Okay. That means we are going working on this bad boy uh, for the remainder of the episode. So, um, let's... Let's see, what will we work on? Let's get that fuel tank out anyway. That has to be done on the lifter. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Air filter cover. I mean, everything has to come off. That battery, I wonder. Hmm. Uh, let's get the drive shafts out. We'll, we'll dismantle the rear suspension. Has to be done on the lifter, really? All right, we'll lift her up. Okay. Should be a lot of stuff that we can recondition from this job. Upper suspension arm, you're coming off. And then the bottom suspension arm. I suppose if we got the uh, shock out, that would make a difference. Okay, now we'll move over to the other side. Let's get the shock out first. Come 
Mouth, you son of a bitch. Alright, upper suspension arm. Followed by the bottom suspension arm. Followed by the rear axle knuckle housing. Okay, now we can get out the gearbox. Let's take out that fuel tank as well, actually. And then we'll get the release bearing, followed by the pressure plate, followed by the clutch, followed by the flywheel. Excellent. Now, oh, I can take out the pistons. I've already got that done. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's drop her down. Take out these pistons. Now we'll take out the crankshaft. Alright, so it's an engine block. I need to make a note of this. Uh, engine block uh, I4D. I4D. I need to remember that. So we can take that out now. Or, uh, yeah, we'll lower her down and then we'll take out the engine block. Like so. And let's buy the new one. So engine block. AC. Still in the seas. There, here we are. Engine block I4D. Wow, I landed right on top of it. That is excellent. Oh, do you know what? I'm after buying that now, and I bet I can recondition the old one. Sure enough, I can. I can recondition the old one. <laughs> oh, yeah, dirty bastard. Okay, let's repair everything here. Let's, uh... Ah, waste of money. I will use it at some stage, I'm sure. Um, right, let's work on the front suspension next. Uh, so we'll lift her up. suspension arm you're coming off uh, shock you can come off uh, end link you're coming off bottom suspension arm you're next followed by the outer tie rod then the inner tie rod and knuckle and then we'll move over the far side if we can never get over there Starting off with the calipers, brakes, brake disc ventilators, wheel hub cap, wheel hub bearing, front wheel hub, followed by the knuckle cover, followed by the upper suspension arm, followed by the shock, followed by outer tie rod, then inner tie rod, then the steering rack, then the end link and the sway bar and the bottom suspension arm and the knuckle all right drop her down and we can get out the abs pump and the brake servo all right uh there ain't much left. Uh, door can come off, I guess. Uh, seats. Assembly mode. Interior disassemble. Disassemble, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. She is completely stripped. Uh, how are we doing on time? 15 minutes on the nose. Uh, right, well, we're going to break out the welder, we're going to move it to lifter C, like so, 
and we're going to repair the frame. So wait until you see this for a magic trick. All that rust is going to disappear. Ta-da! And now for my next trick. Uh, how about that? Look all shiny smooth. Silky smooth. All right, let's go over to the repair table and repair parts that we uh, just took out there. Because there's a lot of them. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so, let's, let's work on the back. Let's work on the engine. We'll get the engine back in place. Um, so we'll see what parts we have. There's going to be a lot of parts that we don't have. Uh, but anything that we do have, we will put back in. Don't have a fuel filter. Don't have an exhaust. Uh, right, I think we're going to have to lift her up. Uh, we should have an alternator though, actually. Uh, doubt we have a power... S oh, we do have a power steering pump. Very good, very good. Uh, time and cover, no, we don't have that. Uh, Alright, let's lift her up and get the crankshaft back in. Because we reconditioned that. Okay. Uh, we can work on... Oh, we don't, we don't have a flywheel. Damn it. Fuel tank. Uh, we don't have one of them either. Um... How about suspension? Get working on that, maybe. Bottom suspension arm, along with new bushings. Now we'll do the upper suspension arm. Double wish one shock absorber rear. I need to make two new ones of those. Uh, you know what? We'll do that now. How did I end up with all those? Alright, let's disassemble the lot. Uh, shock. Double wish one shock absorber rear. We'll buy two. Assemble all of these. Uh, rear shock absorber cap will buy two. Now we'll get some springs. Rear springs by two. And what else do I need to get? Double wish one shock absorber rear, rear spring, rear shock absorber cap. Uh, we need hub. Some wheel hub bearings. And I should buy like eight. Because then we'll have spares. Double wish one shock absorber rear, there we go. I have something on my mouse pad and it's really annoying me. Okay. Now we can get that shock in. What are we doing on time? We're almost out of time. Wheel hub B. Wheel hub B. We need two of those. Disc, followed by some nice new brake pads. What a new brake or reconditioned brake caliper. Uh, right, I think we're pretty good there. Uh, let's see if we can do the same over the far side. Now I know I need 
a knuckle housing. Yeah, I do. Knuckle housing D. Housing D. There we go. And the rest of the parts. Mm, actually, I don't want to say we're okay for the rest of the parts because we're not. Rear axle knuckle cover. Rear axle Rear axle knuckle cover. And now brake disc, followed by brake pads, followed by brake caliper. And we do have a suspension arm, the bottom one at least. I don't know about an upper. Do we have an upper? We do have an upper. Excellent. And then we can put the shock in. She is coming along nicely. Excellent. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. So I think we'll leave it there for now. And we'll come back to this in a later episode. But we've got a lot of work done uh, so far. Uh, we're doing real good. We're doing really, really good. Um, and uh, we'll work on one of these two next. I don't know which one. Uh, we'll figure that out in our next episode. Anyway, thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. My name is Winters, and I'll see you next time. So until then, take care.